Hi, Many Chatters. This is Trilce Giron Garro here with Many Chat and Meta to teach you our second class in this module how to create ads that click to Messenger with automations. If you come from our previous class, we learned all about the ads manager, how to use it. Maybe you already knew how to use it, but we also saw some incredible new tricks and tips that I love to use for my own advertisement. So if you skip that one, I highly recommend you go and watch it really quickly so you can just know that you know everything, know that you didn't skip a single thing. So in this class, we're going to be learning, as I mentioned, how to connect your Facebook ads to your Facebook Messenger automations on ManyChat. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get to the actual fun part. I know a lot of you already knew how to create your ads, how to create audiences, and I know, I know you know that, but now we're going to learn how to integrate your automations into your ads using Click to Messenger. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you about the two super cool ways to do it. We call them JSON and Visual JSON. But first, let's talk about the question, why do Messenger ads? Why do we want to do advertisement that sends people over to Messenger? Why send them over to chat? Well, it's actually the popular go-to channel for contacting businesses. A lot of people want to know more information about you, your company, and your product before they purchase. Personally, when I am going to buy something, I love to start a conversation with an agent that can guide me. And this makes it so much easier. Especially since what happened with iOS 14 going forward. When you do ads that lead to Messenger using ManyChat for your automations, you own your data. Every single bit of that data is yours to use to retarget even if they have iOS 14 or, or further. You can qualify your leads and offer personalized content. For example, let's imagine I go into your store. Remember the ad that we were doing before? Drive to my store. What if I asked you, hey, do you live in place A or B? So I can give you the Google Maps link to the store closest to where you live. I can ask you, hey, do you live in this particular region? If you don't, I can tell you, I'm so sorry, I don't have any stores anywhere near you. Plus, let's be honest, landing pages only have a 3 to 5% click-through rate. That's really not good. Meanwhile, with Click to Messenger, you get first-party data that you can use to retarget your audience. That means that you can contact them in the future. You can offer buttons that click to purchase or like our example, click here to drive to the nearest store. You can follow up on abandoned carts. And that is basically the coolest thing. You can say, hey, you didn't purchase this. Um, want a coupon? Psst, do you want a discount? And you can personalize your content based on actions. So imagine the person is driving to the store for a second time and they go on an ad because they want to go there again. You can check. You can check with ManyChat like, oh, this person has engaged with this particular content before. I'm going to say we would love to see you again. So let's see an example of a messenger lead generation flow. The first piece that we have is the entry point. So we want to generate interest and capture their attention prior to a launch. This particular ad says, put a little spring in your step with pieces personalized to your style, size, and budget. Tell us what you need. And if you see, the headline says, chat with stylist. Chat with a stylist, someone that is going to help you find the best outfit, the best choice for you. If the person clicks on that send message button, we're going to open our lead gen flow build a 10 question quiz as a lead gen flow to qualify leads. So for example, here we have, what kind of outfits are you looking for? Oh, dinner. How would you describe your style? Casual, fashion forward, formal. And let's imagine that my dogs started barking, they started running and I had to run to get them and I forgot to finish the quiz. Look how cool. The third one is a reminder from Original Coast Clothing. Hey, you only have a few questions left to answer. Come back over and let's finish this now. So you can send automatic reminders for everyone who didn't complete the flow within 
the 24 hours from their first contact. And of course, 24 hours after their last interaction. And last but not least, you can follow up. So you can set up an automated message that says the name of the sales agent like, Hey Mohit, I'm Pam and I'll be helping you with your order. Do you have any questions before we get started? So let's say Mohit comes in, answers to that question, and in five minutes, Pam comes in, sees all of the answers, and now she can provide personalized assistance without having to ask any of those questions herself. Of course, the coolest thing about Facebook Messenger is that it connects directly to your Facebook business account. So you can start building relationships that are personal and convenient, and they are all living in the exact same place, which is Facebook Messenger. So they're talking to their friends, they're talking to their family, and they're talking to your business. And of course, that you can just change accounts within Facebook Messenger and start talking back to them as your company. And if, if you pair this with ManyChat, you can increase your sales by adding buttons, quizzes, FAQs. You can have so many cool things like a smart delay. Imagine your automation saying, hmm, let me think about that for 10 seconds. Can you count down for me? And then it waits 10 seconds exactly to send a next message. Remember that automations are not just about optimizing your time. They're about making the experience fun and enjoyable. Automations are made to be fun. And of course, to provide valuable information that helps us sell more. Together, we can help you have conversations with your customers that deliver more for your business. And this is the cool part that I was talking about. How do you connect your ManyChat automations to your click to messenger ads? We're going to have the JSON code or the visual JSON. And you're thinking three to say, that JSON thing looks a lot like code and I am not a programmer. I have no idea how to write code. Well, I do, but we don't need to know how to do it. ManyChat does it for us. And Visual JSON, well, that's just a really nice way of saying keywords. So we're going to build one together right now. In our previous lesson, we were creating this ad campaign to drive traffic to a store. So if we go back just to check on these for a little bit, we can see that this one was set for engagement. We said that we have a lifetime budget of $300 for all of our ads. We have two different groups of people, people who talked to me before and those who are similar to the people who talked to me before. And we have different ads that are going to drive people to talk to us. In this particular case, the tip that I gave you is that we are going to try and have one campaign per channel. This way we can optimize and make decisions based on the channel that is driving the best results. In this case, I selected Messenger because we're going to be tying our Messenger automations to the ad. And we don't want to drive people from Instagram to Facebook or from Facebook to Instagram. The best idea is always to keep the person on the channel they are contacting us from. So let's go into our ManyChat account and see how can we actually tie this and have it fully automated. Okay, so here I have created a very, very simple flow. The starting step, which we have not defined yet, is going to open up the following message. Hi there, could you tell me which of these cities is closest to where you are right now? San Diego, Los Angeles, mm, none of those. If the person says San Diego, it is going to say, perfect, click the button below to see our location on Google Maps. And this is a link that says drive now. All I have to do is input the link right here. If the person says Los Angeles, they're going to get the same message, but the link is going to be different. And of course, if they say mm, none of those, oh, I'm so sorry, we don't have a location near you. We are expanding and I promise we will soon be together. Very romantic. <laughs> But great, awesome, yay, Teresa, we know how to build a flow. How do I tie this to my advertisement? So we're going to add a trigger here. And we're going to scroll all the way down here on Facebook to where it says Facebook ads JSON. And we're going to click this. 
See how it says, to set up the ads JSON you need to attach at least one button. Well, that's because I haven't published my flow. So let's click publish. It has been published. And now when I go back to my starting step and I click here, I am going to see the JSON code that ManyChat has done for me. All you have to do is scroll all the way down and copy to clipboard. This blog on our page is one of my favorite go-tos when I am creating a JSON code advertisement. So if you scroll all the way down here, you're going to see that my friend Michael, he wrote the very best guideline as to how you can create a JSON growth tool. So these are the guidelines. It can't contain more than 150 characters. You cannot have variables such as first name or custom user fields. You need to include at least one button and it can only contain one content block. So what does that mean? It means that we cannot say, hi there, first name, because this is a variable. So that is a no-go. This needs to be a certain limit of characters. You need to have one button and you cannot have more than one content block. So these would be two. We have to click the X right here. It has already been published. Let's click here. And that is going to be our code. Something important to take into consideration is if you change anything here, the entire code changes. So if, for example, you wanted to say, hi there, friend, and you update this after adding that code to your ad, like I'll show you in a bit, this is no longer going to work. So make sure that you have reviewed the entirety of your flow. Make sure it's perfect, preview it, test it out before you create your JSON code. I am obsessed with clicking publish every single time and see what it says here. Your JSON code was updated because you changed the content in your opt-in message. In case you didn't update it in the ads manager, the ad will not be working properly. It will not be working properly. So you need to make sure that your flow is perfect before you add it to your ad. So now that we have created our flow, we have created our JSON code, we're going to go back to the ads manager. And where do I add this code? Well, we're going to go here on number one. We're going to scroll all the way down, all the way down. And you're going to see the message template area. So you can create a new way to start conversations or you can use the advanced setup. So this is the one that we're going to be using right now. Let's click advanced setup and click edit. All you have to do here is click whoop, paste. And just like that, we have added our flow to our ad and you can save it so you can use it in the future. We're going to call this location flow. And now when you click save and finish, if you go to add number two, all you have to do is scroll all the way down. Instead of create new, we're going to click use existing and we're going to use location flow. So see how we have created a template for JSON that we can implement into any of our ads in the future. And it was really that easy. Just by doing that, we have made sure that every single person that clicks this send message button is going to come straight into this flow. Okay, but Trilce, what about visual JSON? What is it? How do you eat that? You mentioned something about keywords. Well, yes, you have a really good memory. <laughs> We're going to click add trigger. And here you can create Facebook keywords. So see how we have if message contains and our flow. So how is this going to be different from JSON? When you go back into your ads manager and you use the message templates, when you click create new, you are given the option to start conversations. So you're going to click edit here and look at how we are given options for questions. So something that I like to do is I go back into my ManyChat account and I copy paste that initial message. We're going to go back. We're going to select everything, paste, 
And with Visual JSON, you can have variables from the system. So we're going to say first name of recipient. So we see here my name, Trilce. Can you tell me which of these cities is closest to where you are right now? So we can say San Diego. We can say Los Angeles. Whoop. There we go. And we can say none of those. Alrighty. And of course, we're going to name this visual JSON for location. So this is where things get a little bit more complex. It has its pros and cons. So with visual JSON, you are not limited to 150 characters. You can use variables. Of course, you need to include at least one button. And there's no reason for content blocks here. So how are we going to make sure that people go to the proper one? So we're going to do the following. Of course, we always click publish and we're going to, whoop, we're going to duplicate our flow. I know that. There we go. When we go back into flows, we're going to find the copy. Here we have it. And this one is going to be called San Diego. We're going to create, we're going to edit. And we're going to create a trigger that is going to be a Facebook keyword. Here we're going to save the message contains San Diego, or in this case, the message is San Diego. Because if I say, oh my God, yeah, I love it. I live in San Diego, it's going to trigger. But if it is San Diego and create, then publish, then that means that all I have to do is grab this little node and move it over to the San Diego step. So now, whenever someone comes into this ad and clicks San Diego, this keyword is going to be triggered and it's going to redirect into this particular block. You can do the exact same steps for Los Angeles and none of those. That way you are creating a fully automated system that is going to drive personalized content to the people contacting you. And see, this is why I told you that you should wait until you are done adding the JSON and visual JSON. Well, you can use one, you can use both if you want to your ad before quickly duplicating the ad set. So I hope you really enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you in the next one to learn how you can do the same for Instagram. Did you think that it would be super difficult? I know that the first time I heard anything about connecting your ManyChat Messenger automations to your Facebook ads, I was like, oof, that sounds like a task. And when they said JSON code, I was like, oof, that sounds like coding. <laughs> but now you know how simple it is. ManyChat even prepares that JSON code for you. And if you want to go the visual JSON way, it's only about the keywords. So I hope you learned a lot in that lesson. I hope you had your <gasps> aha moments. And I hope you'll stay with me for our next class how to connect your Instagram advertisement to your Instagram DM automations on ManyChat, okay? So let's head over to that next video and learn together.